Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about grasses. So grasses are monocotyledon plants and are herbaceous. They belong to the grass family Poaceae, which includes cereal grasses, bamboos, grasses of natural grasslands, as well as grasses of cultivated lawns and pastures. So grasses have stems that are hollow at the joints, extensively branching root systems and blade like leaves. Grass can be planted in many environments such as swamp area, shady forest and also semi-desert area. It is widely cultivated as a livestock feed because it is highly nutritious and palatable. Legume is a general term used to describe the seeds of the legume family and it is high of nutritional value because of the protein and high fiber. It is also cheap and available at most of the country. Anachis spintoi performs best under moist tropical conditions where there are high precipitations and no dry period. It is mostly used as permanent pasture in intensive grazing system as well as plantation crops. So hi, I'm Jingwen and I'm going to talk about the difference between grasses and legumes. So first of all, grasses can be either annual, which means they grow every year, or perennial, which means they persist for a long time, and for legumes, they can either be annual, perennial, or biennial. Which means they, biennial meaning that they uses two. They takes two years to complete their biological life cycle. So next. So I'm going to continue to talk about the differences between the grasses and legumes. So first, um, the fruits of grasses is called as a grain, which is a small and hard seed with or without the hull. While the fruits of legumes is called as a pod. Pod is a dry fruit that develops from a couple and opens along the seed. Next is the grasses have fibrous root without the nodules, while the legumes have the uh, have the tap roots with nodules because they have the symbiotic uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria inside the nodules. And last but not least, the grasses have high have lower protein compared to the legumes. Thank you.